Good afternoon. Today we are going to discuss about the human in the loop feature that has been enabled as part of the Google document AI uh, processing. So just to give an overview, uh, document AI is a solution that is used to process different unstructured data, something like the documents, forms, images, and uh, makes data easier uh, to understand and analyze for further processes. So usually there is a lot of manual intera interaction that is uh, involved in uh, processing uh, these documents and uh, document AI helps it to automate uh, a major portion of that. So Google has enabled a lot of parsers like invoice, forms, expense, W2, 1040 parsers. Uh, it has automated uh, all these, uh, most of the processors so that uh, we can just uh, pass a document and uh, extract the text for further analysis. So as part of this slide, uh, we are uh, going to see uh, the new human in the loop uh, feature. So previously, whenever a document is processed by the document AI, uh, there is no manual intervention uh, as part of this uh, workflow. So here in this slide, we can see that uh, once the a document is pushed to the cloud storage and uh, it is uh, processed by the processor it may be an invoice or form or expense parcel then based on the different parameters something like the accuracy we can just uh, pass it over to the manual verification uh, so a lot of times many companies uh, have uh, complex and uh, sensitive data that need uh, human interaction to make sure accuracy, consistency, and uh, compliance are met. So this feature enables uh, a human intervention in order to correct and uh, update uh, the data and then save it to the uh, some Google uh, Cloud bucket as of now for further process. So today we are going to see a demo on how to create a processor and how we can enable the human in the loop feature and uh, process a sample document. Uh, we are going to implement a sample uh, human in the loop uh, uh, feature uh, considering the expense parser. So this is a code lab example that uh, we are going to implement. So before going to implement uh, or before we create a parser, we have to make sure uh, for that particular Google account, the, the project ID is properly set. And uh, we have uh, the Vertex AI admin IM role assigned uh, for that particular account. So as part of the first step, we have to create a parser, sorry, a processor. So we have to go to the document AI uh, console and we have to just uh, as part of the processors we have an option to create a processor so google has a lot of processors enabled like form pro parser invoice 1003-1040 so as part of our example we are just going to create a sample expense parser So there is no need to select any advanced options. Just uh, go ahead and uh, create a parser. So once the parser is created, we can see that uh, we can check the different versions here. So. Uh, here the default version is uh, Google default and uh, we can just uh, select the Google pre-trained or Google default uh, next options also. So here there is a tab uh, related to human in the loop. So as part of the code labs uh, step, uh, we can just configure uh, human in the loop option. So we can do it uh, either ways, just go to the parser 
processor sorry processor and uh, select the human in the loop version and we can just configure here or we can just uh, go to the human in the loop a option as uh, shown here in this particular demo and uh, we can just uh, select the particular parser and just enable this uh, configure human in the loop so if we see here So this is not yet enabled. So we are just selecting this. So we can just uh, configure human in the loop. So here we can see that uh, there are different filters. So we can just uh, add some label related filters or a document uh, level filter where we can just set a threshold. Uh, a confidence threshold of, of 50 or 60 or 70 whatever the threshold so once this threshold uh, is reached or if if the threshold, if the process the document reaches uh, a threshold below this then the human in the loop uh, intervention or that human in the loop uh, option will be triggered so we can just uh, select it to like 50 51 and uh, here we can just uh, select the option of uh, specialists assigning the specialists so google provides different options like uh, we can select uh, uh, google owned uh, specialists or we can create a own pool of specialists so here uh, i have we have created a couple of uh, specialists and uh, i have assigned uh, some of the uh, users or people to that uh, uh, specialist uh, uh, spool okay. so then we can just uh, there is no need to select this auto assignment as of now because uh, if you select this whatever the documents that are processed that will be automatically uh, sent to the specialists so we are just uh, adding the instructions and uh, this is an option where we can just uh, add a sample document or a instruction manual something for this uh, specialists so that they can just follow these instructions and correct that uh, output uh, documents accordingly uh, that is a not a mandatory field and uh, it's up to the uh, team or it's up to the person who want to enable this particular parser to add this particular instructions uh, this results is something where once the documents are uh, processed and then uh, a human has reviewed the documents and submitted then we are storing this particular set of uh, processed output so as of now uh, google cloud storage bucket uh, is the only source uh, where we can uh, save this particular uh, output so we have already created a bucket and I'm just saving uh, this particular documents there. So once we have uh, selected all these options, just save the configuration. This will take uh, one to two minutes uh, in order to configure and enable the human in the loop feature for this particular processor. We can see that uh, the human in the loop option has been uh, enabled uh, has been created for this particular uh, processor but uh, we have to enable it so as part of the step here we can see that uh, we have to enable the, this uh, option in order to make sure that this processor uh, goes through this uh, uh, human in the loop uh, workflow so we can just enable it So once this uh, human in the loop option uh, is enabled and uh, during the creation of this uh, uh, processor uh, we will receive an email from uh, vertex uh, ai so you can see some of the options here this uh, is where uh, we can just check uh, whether there are any ongoing tasks 
or any paused or completed or unassigned tasks that have been created. We will discuss all these tasks at a later point of time, but uh, for now we have just uh, enable this option so i mean uh, the specialist also can uh, just check uh, the tasks that are in queue and uh, that are assigned uh, for them so these are the links that uh, where we can just uh, check uh, uh, whether the tasks are any pending or for a particular specialist are there pending tasks that need to be submitted okay. we can just edit the configuration also at any point of time here So just uh, going to the next step and just uh, upload a document uh, for further processing. And uh, once the document is processed, we can just uh, uh, assign those tasks to a different uh, specialist. So if you go to this processor, we have an option to upload a document. Here, just click on this, upload the uh, things. Yeah. Just click on upload option. So once uh, this is submitted, it will take at least a couple of uh, minutes in order to uh, create the tasks and uh, uh, generate the output and in order to process so once the data is once the file is processed uh, we can see that uh, the output will be available here uh, with the document on the right side and uh, all the extracted parameters on the left side once the document is processed you can see this in this particular link there are uh, different uh, tasks that are created so if we select the unassigned option we have all the unassigned uh, tasks and uh, we can see here uh, the last enqueued uh, this parser the p1 hitl expense parser test p1 uh, we can just uh, assign it to any of the uh, specialists just we have to select this option click on the manage options manage assignment sorry and uh, just uh, type the specialist name so i'm just assigning it to just, uh, select. Okay. Just select this also the option as apply and just select this and uh, once this has been selected you can just click on commit changes so this will make sure that we are assigning this particular task So here, if we see here, this task has been assigned to one person. So if we select this option, you can see my name. Yeah. You can just close it here. And, uh, this is the workbench link, or this is the specialist uh, link where we can see that uh, there are a uh, couple of documents. So I have processed one more document so there are two in the queue just uh, select uh, uh, the edit option so this is the human in the loop feature where uh, the specialist can edit update delete uh, different uh, parameters and uh, submit the document so here uh, we are just editing this particular fields wherever it is highlighted we can just edit them so and just click on the confirm And uh, once I think that uh, all the fields has been edited, I can just click on submit. So one document is submitted. We can see that uh, here we have just uh, one uh, task assigned. So 
again i can delete some things here i can edit some of the options or i can just uh, save it without it doing anything and if you see here it is highlighting whenever you are trying to edit this it is highlighting the fields and the parameters that has been retrieved from this particular document so if we want to add some additional uh, key value parameters we can just uh, select the text here and uh, just highlight this and add uh, the filter that the parameter that is uh, assigned to that particular value so just as an example if i just consider it as the some option of uh, line item that will automatically appear here here finance if you see here this has been uh, selected here uh, once i selected uh, any name that will be any parameter that will automatically appear here so i'm just selecting the supplier name so the supplier name is jennifer that has been highlighted here so i'm just submitting this so once this is submitted this uh, documents the processed output will be saved to the uh, Google Cloud storage path which uh, we have provided as part of this uh, uh, processor so this is the uh, output so it will take uh, some a little bit of time like uh, 10 to 15 seconds in order to appear here So we can see that uh, a folder has been created here and uh, the extracted output after uh, the human uh, intervention or human updation has been uh, created here. So this we can use it uh, and uh, we can just uh, uh, consume this particular output and uh, we can just uh, retrieve all the data that is needed. So that is the end of that uh, human in the loop uh, processor demo. So we can just enable uh, this option uh, for different uh, processors. Uh, as of now, this uh, HIDL uh, option is in uh, beta phase and we are just uh, waiting uh, for uh, Google to push it into the production. Thanks everyone.